Neighbor calls the police on a kid who opened a food stall, pushing them to do something out of character. We all know that the world we live in isn't perfect. In fact, it's filled with people that don't mind spending the majority of their time causing problems. There are so many people who plan on disrupting other people's lives or ruin someone else's peace. We're living with humans that spend their time planning trouble for everyone around them. Not even people like this little 13-year-old kid who's busy trying to earn money is being spared by the cruelty. As this young boy was just trying to make a dollar, he had an encounter with people who weren't as kind as others. They were causing problems and so the only sensible thing for this kid to do was call for help. And who better than the police to cry for help to? And so when the Minnesota police received a call, they knew how to react to a complaint that seemed a little odd. We know that life's not always rainbows and butterflies and we must live through the hard times to get to the good. Not everyone is the same and unfortunately there are so many people who don't mind causing issues for others. As we'd mentioned earlier, the world's laden with ferocious people who don't feel bad or remorseful about causing trouble at every step they take. There are so many crimes and nuisances that have been direct results of people's wrongdoings. These days, there is an overwhelming number of reports about people randomly making a call to the police and filing complaints about weird incidents, just like this woman in the above picture had done. This is how everything took place from the beginning. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Now, back to the story. Well, like we said, this story involved a young kid and a call that was made to the police. This is Jack and Faulkner. He's a boy age 13 and someone who decided that he's going to earn some money for himself. He was the type of kid that didn't want to ask his parents and he was someone who wished to do some work for himself instead. He didn't want to be the kind of son that was dependent on his parents' money even though he was barely a teenager. So he came up with a plan to make sure that he didn't trouble his family for money. He was quite an innovative child that took interest in food making to churn out some money instead. So what can a young boy his age do to earn some cash? After all, what can someone as young as 13 do to get some money? His love for food was something he knew he had to capitalize on, but he didn't want to bother his relatives still. The boy decided to start a hot dog stand by himself each summer. After who lived in the area soon learned how sweet the boy was. Jacqueline was a kid that any parent would be proud to have as a son. After all, the young boy's learning to be somewhat financially independent, attempting to build himself a small business and he can earn money he needs for himself from. The fact that he's learning to be responsible from an early age is something truly inspiring. He received the full support from his parents. We must keep in mind that even Jacqueline's parents were folks that ought to be praised. They were focused on teaching him that people can get cash and buy what they want or need by getting jobs and working for it. It was something they needed to inoculate in the minds of their kids at a very young age. This is indeed a very tough lesson about life most kids get shielded from. Jacqueline had always been an obedient boy who wished to please those around him. Anyone who had ever met him could immediately tell that this boy was a well-behaved kid who wasn't a nuisance. Since Jacqueline's a special boy, he didn't react to the lessons about working hard like other kids would. He was quick to realize that in life, success comes to those who are not afraid to sweat for it. Like we'd mentioned, Jacken is such a different child compared to those his age. One amazing thing about Jacken is while his peers would probably spend their time experimenting and involving themselves with bad things and rebelling, he wasn't leaning towards his negative side at all. This young boy wasn't at all the kind to sit idly and waste his time. He was determined. The kid wasn't joking when he told his parents he wanted to earn his own money. He wasn't just saying it, he was putting it into action. Jacken would wake up in the wee hours of the day when he wasn't attending school to work on his business plan. He was a kid who wanted to make good of his life and not just waste time. This seemed all positive, but you'd soon learn that others didn't hesitate to become obstacles. His parents were quite proud of the boy as he wasn't willing to take any money from them when he started his business. He had a very inspiring reason behind why he wanted to make money and work. When people would ask Jacqueline the reason why he'd stand next to his hot dog stand, his reply was he wanted to buy his own clothes when he went back to school. You'd think that anyone who saw a young kid trying to make his own money would feel motivated and inspired, right? Well, this was sadly not the case for everyone. One day, a woman who was the boy's family's neighbor made an unnecessary decision to ruin everything. Let's get to all the decision and what went down to make this lady call the cops. For any parent, it'd be a delight to see that your kid isn't one to waste away your money and wants to do something to earn it themselves. So, rightfully, Jack and his parents were glad to see their child wasn't just one to take from them. They were happy to learn that their kid made the realization about the value of money early on and tried to make his own bucks. They were already pleased with the fact that Jacqueline was actually making his own money, but there was another thing that made his parents all the more proud. It was the fact that their son actually made really tasty food and was being productive rather than causing trouble and being rambunctious. However, not everyone saw the good in the kid. The neighbor wasn't so pleased and ended up doing something crazy. 
So as Jacken was doing all he could to save up for his school clothes, working every minute of whatever free time he had, something took place that shook everyone. Although Jacken was busy with his hot dog stand each summer, a neighbor of theirs decided to become a nuisance to him in his blooming business. The nosy neighbor actually made a call to the police regarding the kid. To actually go above and beyond to become an obstacle for the kid would make anyone kind of villainous. This would especially apply if you're an adult. For a grown-up to call the cops on a young kid is something truly unbelievable, right? An adult woman actually wants to end Jaquin's hot dog stand, so what did the police have to say about all this? When the neighbor made a call to complain about Jacken's hot dog business, she had quite a lot to say to the police. So when they picked up the call, they knew exactly how to respond to it. The police officers were in a hurry to get to the scene, only to realize that a hard-working kid who was doing all he can to earn money was taking care of a hot dog stall. So for a police officer, it's their duty to ensure that the community is safe and peaceful. They need to take every matter they're informed about seriously and verify what's up. And so, what would be your guess when the police reached the boy's stall? They took a close look at what was happening in and around Jacken's hot dog stall. Their decision astounded the neighbor and everyone present. The call was made by an evidently irritated neighbor lady who wanted Jacken's stall to be shut down immediately. She called the police, telling them it was causing a nuisance for her and the community she was living in. But the police did something beyond their expectation. Instead of closing down Jacken's hot dog stand, the police made an unexpected decision. The lady that called upon the police officers had one clear intention when she made the phone call. It was to make sure that her neighbor kid Jaquan's hot dog business would be ruined. To her, his business was something that was a disturbance and she didn't want to see it anymore. But the police saw how the kid was working and instead decided to make a call themselves. Since we all know that a business owner needs to have their business checked and inspected, the police officer made a decision to do the same for the boy. They knew that he needed to be validated, so they made a call. Who did they call? Well, they reached out to the health department, but what would this be for? To shut it off as the neighbor requested? The police wanted to make sure the little boy did everything right with his business. Even though there was a complaint about him, they could clearly see that he was just doing business for the good and wasn't actually creating problems for anyone. When they called the health department, they came to teach Jaquan anything he needed to know about making delicious food, even handing him an official permit, and that wasn't all. The kid had been making the most of whatever he had, trying to earn whatever he could from the hot dogs he made. The 13-year-old would make food on a small table where he'd also serve them. So when the police officers saw what he was working with, they knew they had to do something about it. They all decided that donating some money to buy him a proper stand would be helpful. So even though the neighbor lady wanted Jacken's business to fall to the ground, the police saw how hardworking and determined the little kid was. Since there was no disturbance being caused by him, they tried to help him instead and even donated a table for him to work on. This incident proves that police officers are just like us, wanting to make the lives of local residents better. What did Jacon's neighbor have to say about all this? So how would you react if you had a plan going in full swing only to backfire in a matter of minutes? It would definitely be frustrating for anyone to see that their plan had flopped right in front of their eyes. So you can already guess how furious the neighbor was when she realized what the police were doing. The woman was hoping Jacken's business ended, but the exact opposite happened. The police actually went all out and did whatever they could to help with the 13-year-old's business. They weren't wasting any time trying to mess up his hot dog business, rather making a call and pulling all strings to make sure he didn't have to stop doing what he was doing. He even received an official permit and a special hot dog stand all because of the helpful officers. Jaquan would have actually been glad that his neighbor made a complaint against him to the police, looking at all the things that took place after. They had helped him with quite a lot, doing whatever they could to make his business better. The police officers helped give Jaquan his permit and also donated a hot dog stand, and it wasn't all. They sent him an invitation to come to the precinct to sell his food. So after being depicted as someone who was causing a wreckage in his community by one of his neighbors, a lot of things took place regarding the boy in his hot dog stand. So he must have been really surprised to see the turn of events when the police actually showed up to check on him. In the next picture, you'll see how Jacon feels about what went down after the call was made. The kid was indeed surprised to learn how the police handled it. Surprisingly, I'm like, dang, the city's not the bad guys in this situation. They're actually the ones who are helping me, expressed Jacon when asked to comment about how he felt about the police doing all this for him. His gratitude was blatant, but the look of surprise on his face was even more evident. Like we said at the beginning, there were quite a few living near Jacken's home that likes to shoot down other people having a good time. Sadly, Jacken's neighbor wasn't the only one who wasn't hesitant to make a call to the cops on people who are busy minding their own business living their life. This other lady had a comment about the kid with a hot dog stall which will leave you shocked. So when we tell you that there are people who just feel the need to try and end someone else's fun or good time, we're not kidding. The woman in this picture is called Barbecue Betty and there's a good reason why. 
It's mainly because she made a call to complain about a family trying to have fun in the local park she happened to be in. There wasn't any fuss or commotion in the park that the family was gathering in, they were just planning to have a cookout in the park. But that wasn't okay with Betty. She soon decided to make a phone call to the police because she simply didn't like the fact they were having a barbecue. It was something unacceptable according to Barbecue Betty, and this is what took place. The family did absolutely nothing wrong, minding their own business, trying to enjoy some quality time at the park together. They wanted to relax in the park, having a barbecue in the nice outdoors. And for some strange reason, Betty had the notion in her mind that organizing a barbecue in a special barbecue zone was an illegal act which triggered her to call the cops. She was just spending time in the park too and suddenly spotted the family having a nice time preparing barbecue food. Barbecue Betty thought the family was committing some crime cooking outdoors so she made a call to the cops. You'd have to guess that she was just a very mean-spirited person or that she was just plain hungry. There was another odd thing she managed to do. When people realized Barbecue Betty had made a phone call regarding the family cookout in the park, there were a few who reacted. She was making a complaint about something entirely legal. The family was minding their own business and wasn't at all violating any laws. Someone in the park decided to confront Betty for the thing that she did and it was quite interesting. Another woman in the park wanted to share something with Betty. Since she was making a call to the police, this woman wanted to make sure Betty was clear with rules and regulation. The woman went ahead and informed Betty that the area was a special portion of the park where folks could enjoy barbecue and cookouts. Betty didn't accept this and still made a threat to call 911. It was indeed strange for Betty to have such a problem with his family having a barbecue. They weren't disturbing anyone and were only there to have a nice time in the afternoon, but their fun was completely ruined. You can only imagine the level of frustration this family must have faced when they learned that a random lady wanted their cookout to end. This is the kind of story that you'd never actually think happens to people, but unfortunately folks like Betty actually exist just to make the lives of others a living hell. The incident regarding Betty making a call to the cops, making a complaint about a family enjoying a barbecue in the park, soon became viral and was featured on national news. This wasn't surprising because it was shocking to see that such evil people live on the planet. Since she was so evil and had no sense of remorse whatsoever, Betty soon gained fame and notoriety for all the wrong reasons. Barbecue Betty was an instant star in her city because of the infamous calls she made about the family having a good time in the park. She had indeed been blacklisted by everyone in the area planning on organizing a barbecue or a cookout. Many people like the neighbor lady from the first story in Barbecue Betty who actually put an effort into stopping good things like Little Jacan's business from thriving. They don't feel bad about calling the cops on them. Let's hope Jacan's inspiring story restores your faith in the authorities, that they'd still do anything to help citizens and folks trying to do good. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting too. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.